Hey boys, I know it's been a while, but I'm making my return to Minecraft. Not really, but potentially, I don't know. I've been uh, orbiting an eye. If you followed me for a long time, uh, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. But my friend Orbiting MC and I, we used to play hardcore survival, all this stuff back in the day, right? And we've since moved on with our lives, um, kind of grown out of Minecraft. But as you can tell, we've been playing Minecraft. We opened up a survival server. He's on right now. And we've, uh, for the past few months, you know, after work, yeah, we have jobs now. It's Times are changing, right? Oh, no. Please. Please. I had to fly away from the hooligans. But times are changing, right? And um, we have work. And we're real adults now. Yo, what's up, dog? But um, we've been playing Minecraft in our spare time. We usually play uh, Rust. We've been grinding that, but it's kind of gotten stale, boring. We played it for many wipes in a row. So we started a Minecraft survival world. And I'm going to give you guys a world tour. Because one, I want to document it, not only for myself to look back in case we lose this world. But also, you know, after all, I played Minecraft a lot in my life and uploaded it a lot on YouTube. So I figured I'd show you what we can do in survival. Granted, we've never been coined as good builders, okay? Take that with a grain of salt, you know, we're not, it might not be the coolest thing you've ever seen, but this is hopefully not going to be a long video, but I'm going to try and speed through. There's a lot of lore to cover, but, uh, yeah, basically I started a solo world just messing around. I was streaming it to orbiting. He was kind of watching, you know, he, he got inspired. He said, I was already like a few hours in and he said, yo, stop playing. We got to start a server and we got to play. And I was like, all right, bet. Playing a server is uh, it's way more enjoyable because, like, say, Orbiting's logged off and I do a cool project. Half the fun, almost all of the fun, is showing him what I've done, right? And letting, basically, yeah, just showing your progress is cool. Like, in a, in a solo world, you don't show anyone. No one sees. Oh, my goodness. No one really sees your progress, so it's not as fun, in my opinion, because I've always been a multiplayer player or a multiplayer type of player. So, it's nice to see. Oh, my God. It's nice to see... Um, to have friends to show your world off to. So basically, yeah, started in a cave in solo. And then he's like, yo, we got to do that and recreate that in multiplayer. So we found this opening of this cave. And as you can tell down there, it's a little, uh, it's a little nuts. But basically opened this cave up. It was obviously infested with mobs and it was horrific. And then we made it our own. So I'm going to speed through, show you guys around the world and let you see what we've created. Um, it's obviously not complete, but we have kind of teched it out and made it our own um first off we started over here with the big chest room which is now going to be our potion room orbitings it's a work in progress and we lucked out and had a literal skeleton spawner right here and our chest room was dead center it was so cute orbiting made this go up and around or i guess it goes that way up and around they drop the mod that comes right there it's beautiful and we got a little iron farm i made this iron pixel art we kind of do it we're doing the pixel art theme to show off our um different builds and such boom there it goes and we ironed it out to show our riches and here's our bubble calm to go up standard stuff and one of the first things we built over here was a farm pretty um pretty normal you know everyone's got to have a farm to eat and we also had a zombie spawner in this farm which is pretty freaking sick and then one of the next things we built i built was this lava farm i just i didn't even watch a video or anything. I just tried to free ball it. And I think it came out okay, you know? Considering I'm not really a builder. It's not too bad. There's also a second floor up here, right? Pretty cute, pretty cute. And we have infinite lava. And at the start of this, I didn't even have a use for lava. But now, we have this little auto smelter, which I did watch a video for. But you load up the lava right here. Load up what you want right there. And then flick this on, and it fills the furnaces. And then, yeah, lava as the fuel source, obviously. And it cooks pretty fast and distributes it evenly, so that's beautiful. And then I'm trying to do the series of events that actually unfolded on this on this world. And then I think next was this bee farm, actually. This is my pride and joy. As you can see, we are walling it off. or We're changing all the walls to different colors, so that's in progress. But I, uh, uh, what the, but this is one of my pride and joys, one of my favorite projects. It's currently in my... Uh, desktop wallpaper as cringy as that might sound but just take a look around man they're flourishing in here they're actually all down low usually they're all on the ceiling like that i don't know why bees like the ceiling i think it's when hives are up when hives are up higher they just gravitate towards the ceiling because they're just not that smart but i made these little 
wool things with all the different honeycombs in them and stuff. And you have to have the fire so the bees don't attack you when you shear it. These little drop downs with honey blocks, you know, pretty standard stuff, but I'm very proud of this. It just has a lot of creative juice in it, you know, a lot of creative endeavors went into this thing. And I just like how it turned out, you know, and we don't really need honey. It's not the most useful block for us. If we were like redstoners and stuff, probably would use it more. But um, I don't know, it's just a cool project. I like it. it. Took a few hours, probably like 10 total with everything combined, resource collection, all that. But, you know, looks pretty good. And then the next project that took place was this staircase right here. I made this it originally was just one slab and now it's freaking huge, as you can tell. And um, it led up here to basically nothing. And then I mined out this whole area. This is originally going to be all of the animals in our world. We got some free roaming sheep. And this is a work in progress as well. I'm going to change all this to wall. Who knows? But yeah, it's supposed to be all of our animals and kind of just turned into every different colored sheep farm that you can have. Or uh, every different colored sheep you need. And look at this tech down here. At first, we had so many sheep that the wool or the grass wouldn't grow quick enough. Like you would shear them all and then there would be no grass. And then you would have to freaking manually place grass. But Orbiting had the idea. Well, I had thought of this idea, but he's the one who made me really follow through. Is to put grass on the rim so they can't eat this grass. It just serves to grow the grass over there. This probably isn't crazy for most of you real Minecrafters. But for us, it's pretty insane. I'm not going to lie. Um, so yeah, it works perfectly. And then we have some auto wool farms over here as well with every type of wool you need i think i'm missing like magenta or something but this fills up like if we play for eight hours or six hours it'll be full it's not too bad then we got various other animals over here this this area needs a lot of what the heck? this area needs a lot of freaking work i'll be honest but um we got some horses some of those guys skeleton horses i didn't even know those existed they scared the heck out of me freaking lightning bolt came down and then there were skeletons riding those horses, but we trapped them and renamed them. I don't know if you have to rename them, but we did. And we got some cows, obviously. So, gorgeous. And then next step is uh, we ended up growing out of that chest room. As I said, we started over here. And we had originally had a huge tree farm here. Actually, the tree farm was the first build. It was just like a greenhouse, basically, for pink log. That's how we got all the pink stuff. And then we ended up tearing that down. It was sad to see it go. But since we already had this staircase, we are like, oh. Let's look up, or we looked up different chest rooms and we saw one that was in, caved into the wall. And we kind of just said, oh, this is a perfect spot. And then we built a simultaneous staircase over there. So it's a really grand little area. I built this little um, balcony. Looks okay. I don't know. It originally looked way worse. So this is definitely better than it was. Built this fountain. Kind of watched a video on it. It looks pretty good, I guess. I don't know. It's not too bad. Also, the pixel arts, by the way. I'm in love with that lava bucket. It's beautiful that um sure gains pretty cute killing made that also killings on this world if you remember him earning it sticks out a little but we just said screw it we might end up moving it um but yeah sidetrack also there's a slime chunk in this freaking world and they just spawn everywhere if you go afk for too <coughs> if you go afk for too long you're dead it's over chalk it but um yeah here is the chest room looking glorious we have infinite amounts of loot all right i, I gotta take this guy out but yeah, we have infinite amounts of storage in this joint. Um, I'll give you a quick loop tour, as you can see. Tons of iron from that farm. Not gonna go through every box. Oh yeah, we have all mending stuff, all netherite. I've never gotten netherite ever before this world, and we actually finally committed to it. We're, our goal of this world is to make everything grand and everything as big as possible, because we wanna make this world last. Because usually we play for two weeks, do everything, and then never play again. But when you have big goals and grand goals, it, it makes it more fun you enjoy it more and you have more stuff to do so you don't get bored so yeah we're trying to do everything big and grand explore all the new stuff in the game because we used to play like i said hardcore survival and now we're playing or like not hardcore survival um, hardcore factions and it would never update it was just on 1.7 1.8 forever and we never got to play with the new stuff so now we do so yeah we got netherite everything for the first time ever it's been a fun experience but yeah we're pretty loaded we got tons of goodies like i said it's not worth going through all this stuff but we got great tools and everything the best tools you can get in the game and i found these gold boots in one of those nether spawners on or nether portals on the top of the freaking world and it was mending already so i was like you know what i'm wearing these gold boots for life screw it but um, yeah, here's all the goodies, standard stuff. All this stuff's full of just everything. We got every type of wool from the sheep farms. Um, 
pretty gorgeous. I like the organization here. The different colors are next to each other, or like similar ones. And then same with concrete. I was watching a Minecraft freaking video. I'm deep in the lore. And I found out that concrete exists. I think I knew it exists, but that video kind of sparked my memory. And uh, so yeah, we got that going. We still have tons of space too. And as you can see, I got even more wool to start over there. But um, yeah, this is kind of how it turned out. Orbiting made this. I carved it out for him, but he made it, so credit to him. And then this is kind of, this is the last thing I've built, but it's fine. I'm just going to show it. This is what we like to call, oh shoot, it's cooking. So what we like to call the bone meal and dye production facility. So I got this idea from Etho. He made, in his most recent video, he made like a bone meal crazy farm. I just made like a standard one. Um, I watched a video on it, of course. I'm not good at redstone whatsoever. But, uh, up, oh shit. Up here, it's, I don't know, watch a video on it if you want to learn. I can't teach you anything. It took me so long to build this. It was like a 16 or like 14 minute long tutorial. It took me like a freaking hour and a half to build because I just pause and place and it took forever. But um, I think it turned out pretty well. It produces bone meal like a damn champion. Um, we have tons of bone meal. I AFK'd it one night and we've used tons of this stuff and it's still pretty darn full. But yeah, then we use this bone meal as the production facility to transfer over to all these little mini farms. You know, we got the classic wheat farm where you spam, it grows it. Got the two tall flower farm. We got the normal flower farm. We're luckily enough in a blue flower biome, so we get blue dye. Not having these lapis, that's pretty sick. Then cactus from green dye. This thing's actually churning. I was going to make it go up more, but I don't really need to. We don't really need green dye. But, um, and the newest addition bamboo farm this thing's clutch you literally just load this guy up bada bing bada boom with a bone meal flip that guy on and you get boxes of bone meal instantly we're gonna make a grand bone meal farm sooner or later but that'll do for now to hold us over get us what we need and then yeah i'm gonna expand this even more down there yeah i think this came came out pretty well um and then one of our second or one of my pride and joy projects is over here since we had to break that tree farm like i said that was here i can't really show you but it was just a purple or a pink pink log pink glass big square building with a curved roof and stuff it wasn't ideal because when the trees grew the leaves the building was made out of wood so the leaves would stay because half the building's wood and it was just it was so freaking annoying the leaves would stick out of the top because it didn't make it tall enough all this stuff so I decided to make another tree farm and as you can tell this cave has infinite amounts of stuff in it like you can literally there's all this stuff was already mined out everything you see we didn't really mine out except for that freaking sheep farm that took literally like 10 hours to mine out because deep slate is horrible and we didn't have good picks or beacons back then but this was already mined out for us so we figured beautiful spot to put a pink or a, yeah a pink tree farm a cherry tree farm Orbing's been watching a video how to make this, and it's coming along, but he's kind of slow when it comes to projects, so it's it's almost done. He just needs to add some leaves and stuff, and it's GG's. But yeah, I replaced all these all these walls with pink concrete, a little glass dome. I actually got to light this up. I totally forgot about that, and I look, you need to make this glass or something. I don't know. This one's a work in progress. It's, it's a long project, and I've been doing other stuff, but yeah, we got a little jump off in the slime. Super cute. And then, holy leaves! And then, yeah, this is just the tree farm. We're just gonna plant trees down here as we need them. I haven't mined any trees down here yet because we don't really use pink log anymore. But, you know, it's a thought that counts. We're trying to be big and grand. So, yeah, it's a pretty cute one. We're gonna make a staircase that goes up and around over here sooner or later. Because it's a perfect little wrap around all the way up to where we came from. And we got a little shoot right here. This is before the Elytra days. So, there you go. Wee! <laughs> hands free let's go no hands perfect um but yeah that's pretty cool orbiting also made a mob spawner up there it's the standard one just to get some gp it's pretty darn slow but like we don't really use too many rockets so it works for us if you afk at like one one night it's like five stacks of gp it's, it's all right for now um what else what else what else and then we did this nether biome i got this from another minecrafter he was uh i don't know his name i think it's like xyn or something or xy something but he does like different biomes or he did a nether biome in his world so i was like you know what let's do it for our portal because our portal used to be down there in like one of those 
dripstone teepees. So we finally moved it up here. Took forever to replace this. Actually, it wasn't too bad, I guess, but it took a decent amount. This lava took forever too, because you have to individually place all these to have source blocks. Then I kind of copied him. He had like a bone and quartz staircase, and I think it looks insane, especially flying around like that with the lava dripping down. And then there's another lava pool down here. Oh, almost died. That's crazy. But another lava pool there. Drips down under the bridge. Pretty cute. Got some freaking, what is this stuff called? Nether wart. And uh, we got another nether portal. Then through there, it's just, it's a, I'll show you real quick. Kellen's been working on it, but Kellen doesn't really play anymore. So we don't know what to do. And he didn't finish it. So it's definitely interesting though. It's giving like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory or something or like I don't even know but yeah it's pretty cool he's got a little slime guy down here and then scaffolding to go up because this is before elytra and then we have an enderman farm in the end that I built but it's the standard one it's just got some chests and a cool enchanter uh, actually I guess I might as well show it I'll cut I'll cut to there but yeah this is the farm you build out with leaves, two stacks, and then, you know, you make the platform, you put an endermite up there. I built this farm so many times because we've been in Minecraft phases, like, a few times, like, once a year, once every few years, and we start a multiplayer world. So we always build one of these, and now we actually made it. Usually we make it just random blocks, but we actually had a pink theme, and we were actually rich by the time we got here, so we were able to make it, you know, themed. Then after I came back and made this, which I think is cool. I kind of want it to be more grand. But I like that these are hanging down as some character. And this is like two leveled. Excuse me. I thought it looked thought it looked okay. And these are just full of freaking pearls and books and all the, all the essentials you need, you know. Extra goodies. Crafting table, of course. Why did I open that? You guys know what that looks like. But yeah. Then they got this thing that shoots the pearls out. Um out of the end so they don't bunch up but if you have looting they bunch up regardless but at least it, it helps us a little bit but yeah that's our end nothing special then just a pathway going over here and i'm gonna end up doing something in the end like i said we want it to be grand so we'll do something here um in due time also killing built out in the actual end instead of purling through the portal to go find a later i think you can still find them in the actual end but it's just not as efficient i think i don't know regardless but um next up bedroom orbiting built this pretty cute it was already kind of carved out when we needed something under our staircase because this was our all open and uh yeah this looks pretty cool might i say these things are cool i didn't realize they're just storage boxes wait how do you fill this thing up the, i don't freaking know but we need to get the decorative oh we need to get the decorative ones there was already loot in there oh there we go but um yeah the decorative ones are sick but we did our own decoration so it's something got this guy here for looks you know show our riches take naps right here and then we were gonna do our we have an elevator up to the second level right there we were gonna do it right behind this painting which we still might just for fun but this this works fine i guess for now it's just a cute little elevator and then you drop down into our chest room. Bada bing, bada freaking boom. And then over here, how could I forget this? This is our enchanter area and slash villager area. We're being built this. Um, we got some mending villagers in the wall. Some nice anvils. Hanging freaking ender chests. I wanted him, it's kind of out of the way. I wanted him to move it a little, like literally two, three blocks over. And it would be more centralized when you're going to enchant. It just feels like when you come in this room, you can't really see the freaking thing like it's out of the way i don't know i'm nitpicky like that but yeah it's teched out all the way down looking pretty cute he's got to finish this but you know he doesn't really finish projects too well as i kind of have stated and we got a little breeder right here we need to let these guys free wait how are they how are they librarians there's no thing next to them i don't freaking know that's strange but uh yeah pretty cute and i like how it looks from from afar looks absolutely gorgeous very grand very what very much what we were going for here um really enjoy it and then i guess last but not least this is the sugar cane farm Kellen built this thing like it's one of the only things he's built it's not that good i mean it's fine for what it is you know it took him not too long to build but i had to come back he messed it up and didn't do observers he just had a crazy clock back here i can actually show you 
it was the craziest thing ever. He definitely watched a video for this because we're not redstone gods, but he did some wild little clock. So basically it would wait until they're all grown and then it would push them out and he would collect the loot. But now with observers, you can just bang them right there. It's super easy. And then whenever they grow, they get broken. It, uh, it's really as easy as that. Where did those blocks go? Hello? The frick? They're literally just gone. Did I throw them? I don't know. But yeah, thing works okay. Could be, could be better. That's for sure. But could be worse. But yeah, that's the world. Um, we have big plans, and I don't know. I might, I could do a let's play on here. It'd be really fun. I'm, I've been enjoying this game a lot, even though I'm a 24 year old man. It, uh, it is a fun game, and I'm learning as I go, getting better as I go in terms of like design choices and things. So. If you're interested in a let's play you know i might be down to do it also i guess i didn't show this as well safe from here it's cute you can look up and see the water for the iron golem farm what else am i missing i want to cover all the freaking bases oh yeah we got a little auto concrete farm up here that i built i think i like the little outcropping like the little circular outline and then you have a little workstation in here but yeah you put the concrete sand or whatever right here and you just hold it in your one hand and then just spam break it all day and it turns into concrete and it goes in here and you can put concrete up here the powder and then it just you go afk and if you have a wireless mouse you can just walk away and hold both buttons or put macros on you know or like auto clickers or whatever you know what i'm saying but yeah works well and i believe that's the world um little final look around here I think it's coming along pretty darn nice might end up terraforming this a little better and kind of widening it and making it look more natural but overall i'm satisfied with this world and yeah if you guys do want you know some type of let's play i would be super down super down to do it um but thanks for watching i appreciate you oh i appreciate you i know it's something different i know you guys haven't heard from me in forever but like i said i wanted to document this for my own sake and if you guys like it then Hey, I might upload some more or just do periodic world tours or something. Also got this crazy sugarcane farm up here. We need to make an actual grand sugarcane farm, but that'll come in due time. It's just got us emeralds to get mending and stuff from the villagers and all that. But as you can see, we literally have mending on quite literally everything. It's freaking wild. Elytra without mending is basically don't use it. I mean, unbreaking works, but like having to get those freaking membranes from these guys sucks freaking so much, but... And you can look down on the world. It looks gorgeous. I really like what's coming coming together. But yeah. Also, actually, last thing. I promise. This world, Orbing and I are super into running and fitness recently in our life. So anytime you die, it's 25 push-ups per day that someone hasn't died. So let's say, you know, two days in, no one's died. You got 50 push-ups if you die. And so on and so forth. 75, 100 each day. And it could go even up to 1,000. Um and that just adds a little fun to the game. Try try not to die, basically. Orbiting is with the least deaths right now. I uh, died with a freaking totem in my hand while I was AFK, talking to my father. And slimes killed me because there's slimes just spawning everywhere. So I had to do 150 push-ups in one day because I died twice on a 100 push-up day. So it, uh, it was pretty freaking tough. And if you don't do your push-ups, don't complete them within that day, then then your push-ups double. So the next day, say you had 100, didn't finish them all within the day you died, then you got 200 the next day. So it's kind of just a fun little thing we're doing. Also earlier, I keep just yapping, I'm so sorry, but earlier I was building this and then went to, I thought the server was lagging, so I went to throw, throw an item to see if it was lagging. And I had an item in this hand and I was picking out, mining out this stuff, went to throw an item and threw my pick right in lava. It was mending netherite perfect pickaxe and it's all gone so that was unfortunate but yeah if you want some more videos on this server let me know thanks for watching i appreciate it let me know how the world looks and leave a like for more content thanks for watching see ya